Uh, yeah, good. Um, you know, hoping to go 90 minutes this weekend. That's that's kind of the focus. Um, I didn't even know that I got the official call, so thanks for telling me. Um, yeah, but you know, first and foremost, looking forward to this weekend. Um, you know, hoping that I can uh, contribute. Obviously. Have you played against Mexico yet? I don't think so. No. <laughs> Is it anything extra special about even if it's a friendly to, to play against Mexico? Yeah, obviously it's in my hometown too, so that would be a big uh, a big deal. Um, yeah, any any time you play a, a rival like that, you know, it's especially in in Arizona, you know, it's going to be a packed house. Um, you know, hopefully families there as well. But um, yeah, uh, hoping to get through this weekend uh, unscathed and then uh, and then focus on Wednesday. How how is the calf feeling? Good. Today was the best the best it's felt. Um, you know, I traveled to Montreal. Obviously, um, was able to train uh, two days before the game and then the day before the game, uh, but still was feeling a little bit of pain. Um, so better better to be safe and, and let the guys who are 100% contribute. Um, you know, and obviously that paid dividends in a in a big win on the road. Um, you know, and today was the the best it's felt training wise. Was able to do the possession, do some ball work, and then get in here at gym. And uh, you know, hopefully tomorrow uh, get back in the mix. Is it really just a pain threshold thing? I, mean, I would think there's not much risk of making it worse, right? Yeah, well, you know, I don't know. It's, it, I think it's an issue of, uh, you know, obviously definitely a pain threshold um, like, like any injury. But, you know, obviously with, with a knock, there's, you know, there's more than just one muscle in your calf. And when one goes down, the others kind of take over. And if those get too stressed, then, you know, those can shut down as well. So it's being smart and, um, you know, not pushing things too hard, slowly integrating back into the team and, uh, you know, um, Taking some medicine too. Obviously, with uh, we've been check, talking to Chad Marshall with him playing the crew for the first time. Mm -hmm. What does he kind of offer? Do you think this team? What have you seen from him huh. in these first three? I games? mean, you know, he's obviously his physical his physical presence is one that's you know probably unmatched anywhere in the league. Uh, maybe, maybe two or three other players, but um, you know, but tactically aware um, in the game, he's he covers um, you know he covers some ground for a center back, and he always puts himself in good positions, and that comes with experience. Um, you know, and, and first and foremost, he's he's here for the team. This is a move that he wanted to make, and one where he thought, um, you know, got a jump start. Um, you know, in my mind, the best defender in the league. So obviously, his aerial prowess as well is something that he gives us. Um, and you see it on the field. I mean, he manhandled Wenger the whole game. Um, you know, I think he's still in his back pocket, and that's something that, you know, that he takes. Uh, you know, he takes his job very serious, and and you know, like the Toronto game, you know, he goes back and looks at the tape and what he can do better. So it's something where he wants to continue to get better, um, and and that's kind of where he's at. A lot of changes this off season and a lot of years, frankly, since you were in Columbus. But is yeah. that does this game resonate to you in any particular way? Yeah, I was thinking about that this morning, and it's it's far. I'm so far removed from it. It's obviously you know my first club, and something that I'll always remember the time they're winning the championship. But everybody's gone. You know, I don't think there's anybody left. Uh, from that team, so um, you know, obviously fond memories of, of being there, but the team is is much different now, and, and the club has gone a you know a different direction since I was there. So um, you know, uh, definitely just in the past now. I know you you've kind of made a point of saying that you you won't really believe that you're on the World Cup team until you're named to the World Cup team. Does it start to be you know with kind of the you know, Trundolo retiring and, and other injuries there. And does it start to become like there's a, a clearer path and you just have to kind of maintain what you're doing? No, I mean, the way that I look at it is, you know, I took a knock 15 minutes into the second game of the year and it kept me out for a game and a half. Um, you know, and I'm hoping that it doesn't keep me out this weekend. So uh, any second, anything can happen. You know, fluke things like what happens in Vancouver, you know, a couple guys walking around and, and slip and real coker smashes his head, you know. <laughs> You know, stuff happens, and you know my my main focus now is this weekend, and, and that's where it'll remain. And I think, like I've said in the past, I've done a good job of that of focusing on the next weekend. And when things do happen, it's dealing with them appropriately. Um, you know, not getting too far fixed into the future, and and uh, really focusing on what's going on right now. Is that something you you feel like you can help DeAndre with? I mean, he seems because he seems to have that same attitude. And is that something you've worked on him with, or is that just coincidence? Yeah, well, I think yeah, I think. Um, you know, obviously, it's January brought us a little bit closer together, and uh, you know, over the course of this year, I think you know, traveling, uh, being in the hotel, we've become you know a little bit closer, and and you know, there's other guys on this team who have played internationally, and so it's not just one person that he can kind of talk to and and uh, go through the ropes, but it's a guy who's hungry. You know, he feels like he should be there, which is great. You know, and I think that that'll push him. Um, you know, I did a tremendous job this weekend, and you continue to put in good performances, you get rewarded for those. And, uh, you know, we've talked about it before, you know, he's got a great head on his shoulders, and, and that'll continue um, as long as he keeps it, it, it down and keeps working. We have thought that maybe 
maybe you two would be on the right, you as a midfielder and mm -hmm. him as a right back. You know, what have you kind of made of being more central from what we've seen of you this year? Yeah, well, I th you know, I like I like that role. I, I think it's fun playing next to Ozzy. Um, it's definitely. A little bit more, uh, you know, somebody on the team that I think I can learn from is Gonzalo. I think, uh, you know, especially with Mexico, they play a 4-2-3-1 more often than not, and that was a role that he's played num numerous times, a number of times. So, um, you know, kind of getting to watch him in the Toronto game and watch him in, in Montreal too, that's kind of, you know, a model of where, you know, exactly how that type of player plays that, that role, you know. Um, I think Ozzy is a strict defensive mid, but I think Gonzalo balances that position and, and getting forward, putting himself in good positions. Um, you know, just a veteran player, so having somebody like that to kind of lean on and watch um, has definitely been beneficial and that's something that I'll use going forward. With all the changes that you guys did have, is a two and one start at all surprising to you? Did you think there might be some growing pains that you have to work with? No, this this uh, this off season was uh, I thought the best one yet, and I thought that we uh, we really came together as a team and we had good performances in preseason, um, but we also had good performances last preseason too and didn't start off too hot. So, but it's something that we talked about. We wanted to have a good start, and, and now we look back on the Toronto game, and I know that in uh, you know. In a few months, in six months, seven months, we're going to look back on that one and say we, sh we should have had that one, you know, minus two mistakes. We should have probably had that one. So it's one of those, uh, you know, that you look back and say, you know what, we, we probably could have nine points at this point and, uh, and three wins under our belt. But, we'll, you know, we'll take six points and you average two points, two points uh, a game and, you're, you know, you're doing well.